Can you actually design things inside of Canva's GPT, inside of their custom GPT? I'm curious, right? I don't know if you saw this on, on Dev Day, but I saw it and I'm like, oh, I can't wait to check this out. Uh, so before we check this out, uh, let me tell you what this is. My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter, helping everyday people like you and me learn and leverage generative AI. So let's take a look at what this is. So uh, during the Dev Day announcement, uh, Sam Altman there showed up on screen uh, or showed this on screen on the new Canva GPT. And we did uh, a video on what these new custom GPTs are. It's essentially a, a, a way with no code to go in there and create your own kind of a AI chatbot or AI assistant, whatever you want to call it. But he said right here, make a poster for the Dev Day reception on November 6th at 5 p.m. It's at the Day Young Museum. And I was curious because when I started playing around with Canva's GPT, it didn't work like this at all. So uh, if you want to try this yourself, you're going to need to go to OpenAI's uh, announcement blog post, click the Canva link right there. Um, it's going to bring this up and then we can, uh, we can go straight into it. So I have, here we go. So I have the link or the, uh, the prompt that they used. I put it in. So there is the prompt. Let's see what happens. All right. So it's asking, do you have any specific theme or style in mind? Any particular details? I'm going to say no. Um, I'll leave that up to you. Let's just start there. See see what actually happens here. So it is uh it's forcing me to uh accept the permissions each time. So from this uh chat GPT uh dash plugin Canva create. So let's go ahead and see if we actually get a design out of this. Because in some of my initial testing, we weren't. All right, let's look. All right, so uh, pretty interesting. It's actually working this time. Uh, whereas when I have tried other things in the past, it wasn't really working. So let's try one more. So I'm going to say, uh, please make me a uh, poster that says... Check out my new podcast on ChatGPT. So let's see if this one works here. I'm just again, 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 I'm going to say uh, it's up to you. And we'll see if we can design something right away. So now this is interesting. So now it's giving me Canva templates. Okay. So the only thing that I've been able to get this to work on was the one I just did right now live when I used the exact prompt um, that says make a poster for this dev day at the Day Young Museum. Uh, but you'll see here, if I scroll down, it's just giving me templates and it's not saying, you know, check out my new podcast. So I'm going to now just say, make a poster and I'm going to say for the everyday AI podcast. Let's try that. So this is curious. Um, everything I've tried, it doesn't actually design. It just gives me templates. So it essentially just searches, uh, Canva for me, it doesn't actually create anything, uh, which to me is not very useful because I'd rather search Canva manually. This is also the same thing that Canva's plugin does. Uh, it really just searches templates, but you actually get much better results if you just go to Canva and search there yourself. You get more, it's faster, you get a wider variety. Um, you can put in different filters and different options. So um, I'm curious because it looks like unless you use the actual prompt that they used, uh, that open AI used, it doesn't look like you get anything actually designed. It looks like you just get templates. Uh, let's see my, uh, my second attempt here. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say, again, I'm going to say that what I set up here, it's asking me, I'm going to say, no, I'll leave that up to you. So let's see if this works. I need to click allow again. 
so I'm, I'm curious if it's going to actually put in everyday AI into the actual design, or if it's just going to search, uh, Canva and give me some templates. So this is interesting. So it, it actually, um, kind of worked. Yeah. Okay. I guess it did work. It put everyday AI at the top here. Let's, uh, let's see if I can continue designing. So I'm going to say, um, let's go with option two. Uh, I'm going to say, please make the headline say, uh, let's just put, uh, outsmart the future. And then I'm going to say, and please change the main art to a cute little robot. So this is interesting. As you saw here, uh, apparently maybe if you ask for a poster, uh, it will give you options. Whereas if I, you know, down here, I ask for, well, no, because down here I asked for a poster that said, check out my new podcast. And it just gave me templates that really didn't have anything that I said on it. I tried it one more time, something even simpler, I guess. And it actually gave me options that had my text on the, uh, on the poster or on the template, I guess. So now we're going to see if I can continue to update, uh, this option too. So let's see. So it looks like not really. Let's see. So, uh, it's giving me a link to the poster and it looks like I might have to make these edits myself. Yes. So the only thing that it technically did is it gave me a poster with the word everyday AI on it, and it really didn't do anything else. Um, so I asked it to update the headline, didn't do it. Um, so I'm not, I'm not sure how to feel about this, right? Uh, because it did do this uh, dev day announcement, uh, kind of what they did on screen here, um, here at this announcement, uh, at the um, dev day kind of uh, unveiling. But it's very, it almost doesn't work a lot or it doesn't work consistently. And you can't really uh, give it, I guess, too much information or it just gives you templates. So um, although I'm very excited uh, about the possibility of this, uh, of this new, uh, Canva GPT right now, it just doesn't really work consistently. Uh, it looks like more, more often than not. And I tested it before this, it usually just gives you templates, uh, which doesn't make a ton of sense. And you can't really go back and forth, at least right now with it. So uh, I'm going to keep my eye on this because, Hey, right now, if I'm being honest, chat GPT and Canva are probably the two programs that I use almost the most aside from you know, email, uh, or putting together our newsletter, but the, the, these are the two common programs, uh, that our team uses the most. So, um, I'm hopeful and looking, looking forward to, uh, some improvements being made, but at least right now, not that great. It's, it's, it's a little inconsistent, not very flexible. It's just faster to, uh, I think right now to just jump straight into Canva. All right. I hope this is helpful. If so, please go to your everydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter, subscribe to this channel, and I hope to see you back for another AI in five. Thanks y'all.